Let's go. Go, guys. Let's get it. Yeah, what's good, everybody? What is up? I know it's been a minute. You know, life's been busy. But we're staying as consistent as possible. And um, through my research, <laughs> through my research, I've come to find out that a lot of your Instagrams are absolutely horrible. What's up, everybody? Looking cute today? Thank you. Appreciate it. But yes, a lot of your Instagrams are horrible. So today we're going to do some live Instagram audits. If you're on the Patreon, I posted, I post my, my most recent post on Patreon. Post your um, IG down below that. And then also, I'll... I'll audit some um, normal people, but only Super Chats, so. Now on Patreon members, I'll do some audits just a little bit, but only Super Chats, right? But even if you're not Super Chatting, even if you're not on the Patreon, which you should be, you should be on the Patreon, but even if you're not, you watching this, you're probably going to learn something, right? You're probably going to learn something. And all of this information that I'm going to be auditing from comes from my high status IG manual. All right, so I'm posting the link to the high status IG manual right now in the chat. Follow along with me, like download it, it's absolutely free. Follow along with me as I'm critiquing Instagrams through the high status IG manual. And you're gonna see sort of where my, my mindset and my uh, perception when it comes to attractive Instagram profiles come from. All right, so I'm posting that in the link. Y'all check it out. Uh, but before we get into that, I mean, we can we can still do a little bit of uh, a Q and A today too. So if you got if you guys got questions, Q and A the super chat or just post it in the, the chat, whatever. And um, I may or may not get to it. All right. So let's check out. All right. So y'all posting the Patreon, perfect. But before we get into that, let's talk about why Instagram. Like, why? Or why have an attractive Instagram profile? Like, why is this even important? Right. To some people, you actually have to explain why. Why is Instagram important? Well, the first reason is Instagram allows you to establish connections. Think about it. Social media. We're just establishing connections, and Instagram is one of the most popular social media websites in this present day facebook is obsolete all these other platforms for the most part are obsolete we're not giving out snapchats we're not giving out facebook profiles right some of you guys still give out numbers but for the most part we're giving out igs we're getting out instagrams and then alongside with establishing connections it's not only just establishing connections with one gender it's multi-gender so it allows you to network more all right you meet a guy in at a bar or whatever, wherever it may be, uh, a future friend, right? You're actually going to give Instagrams more than likely. You meet a girl. She's probably going to want to see your Instagram. If not, you guys are probably going to connect on Instagram to some degree, right? Also, you can, of course, meet women on Instagram too. So there are tons of benefits in terms of having a, an attractive Instagram profile. What I like to think of it as is almost like a resume. Think of it literally as your resume that resume mentality. If you're going to a, an employer to get a job, right? what do you do? You give them your resume. And then from there, they check your credentials. Your Instagram works the same exact way. Anybody you meet, man or woman, you're going to have to give them your resume. And that resume is Instagram. And then also, another big part before we get into the audits is the fact that Whenever you leverage your Instagram in the right way and you have an attractive Instagram profile, guess what? It's actually going to increase attraction. It's going to increase attraction from the woman you, you are talking to. I've seen it consistently. And no, and no, having an attractive Instagram profile doesn't mean high status. It doesn't mean having 50,000, 100,000 followers. No, you have a little bit of followers, but still have an attractive Instagram profile that will that can then be leveraged for more attraction from the girl you're talking to whenever she sees your pictures in different contexts you know if there is a bit of pre-selection or social proof there right it just more so confirms who you are and then lastly omnipresence the fact so if you're 
if you have an attractive Instagram profile and you're posting consistently on your story, assuming that you have women you're talking to who are following you, you're always in their head. You have omnipresence. Right? There's some. There's a saying, right? Out of sight, out of mind. Whenever you give a girl your phone number or, or she has no context of like who you are, your face, they can forget about you. But they got you on IG and you're posting an attractive, high, high value, high status sort of content. They're not going to forget about you. It's going to make you look better. King Cap says, step one, don't be ugly. Absolutely true. Yeah, don't be ugly. This will not work if you're ugly. Fun fact. But if you are unattractive, you can actually use um, presentation techniques to leverage other attraction pillars outside of just your looks. It's possible. Pre-selection, status, money, right? All right. Without further ado, once again, download the High Status IG manual. Uh, follow along with me as I go through this. But let's go ahead and, and do some audits. Why not? Uh, okay, let's go to the Patreon. Let's see what we got. Hold on, guys. I'm pulling up the names. One moment. All right. Presents. Share screen. Share. All right. Uh, first, we got Make One Night. Let's check him out. Okay. There we go. All right. Make One Night. He was the first to comment on the Patreon post. So let's go ahead and check him out. All right. So from the profile picture, I'm getting Hooper archetype, sports athlete vibes. This is just from my own judgment. If if you are not within this archetype, then I would change this profile picture, and we'll see moving forward into your your other posts. Follower the following ratio ideal, not bad. Bio empty, so bio is not a huge deal, but you at least want to tell more about yourself, tell more about you, what you do. Maybe a location tab where you live. I, I wouldn't leave the bio just empty. Now let's look at some of his uh, pictures. Okay. Let's break this down. So for one... I mean, the, the fit's not bad. Fit's not bad, monochrome. However, it's the it's how this is taken, bro. It's very low status. Look, we got we got a dog coming into the picture. You're sitting in like the foyer of a, a house somewhere, probably like a Airbnb or some shit. All right, stuff all around you. Uh, the composition of this not ideal you're like in front of the tree so overall we're just breaking rules of, of presentation like really basic rules of presentation All right you got one thing right in terms of your your points of leverage the outfit but besides that everything else is fairly low status um you got random guy in the back right here like who is this no context of who y'all y'all look like um twins like matching outfits you know, like maybe maybe you could include this one. Like I probably would have used this one, but everything else, no. Like this one's not too too bad. And then this right here, this is what I call negative pre-selection. Whenever you're overt about how other women like you, I actually made a I mentioned this in a YouTube video. Whenever you're too overt about the fact that other women like you or that you you receive attention from other women, it actually makes you look less attractive. So I'm not sure if you're in a relationship or if you're dating or whatever, but if you are in a relationship, this is fine, whatever. But if you're single and you're still talking to other girls, like I wouldn't I wouldn't put that in a, a carousel. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. All right, let's take a look at some of the other ones. Okay, so so he's he's big on carousels. Yeah, I mean this this one's not too bad. Some of these pictures I wouldn't include though. 
Like you could you could have kept it simple with the balcony pick and like one more, and that's it. Like all all this uh, wasn't necessarily needed. I'm not sure how old you are. You, may, you look a bit young, but you know gas station picks. I see a lot of like uh, like young, more hood dudes sort of do these picks. You know, with like the the nice car and like the streetwear. Like that fits a certain archetype, and you may fit that archetype, but it's just if you're above 24, 25 years old, I just wouldn't go this route. I'm not sure how old you are. If you're like 21, fine. If you're 20, fine. 19, fine. But if you're a grown man, no gas station picks by cars. Oh, uh, this is more classy. That's not bad. It's more classy. So yeah. The rest are kind of meh. You need more volume and you need to you need to present more things, present more, more style outside of streetwear, present more locations, you know, have more higher status and environments. So I'm gonna rate this one. I'm already a six out of ten. It's almost average, but it's not average. It's slightly above average. It's not amazing, but it's, it's not like totally crap. What do y'all think about it? All right. Let me move on to the, the next IG. Right now, I'm going through the, the Patreon list. I'm going to do two Patreon, two uh, Super Chat. So let's see. All right. Herb, get fit. All right. So I'm, I'm assuming this is a, a fitness archetype in terms of what you're presenting, probably for a business. So, okay. Profile picture. Uh, not the best, but it's whatever. At least you're showcasing your physique. You know, you want to make your face clear also, not just your body. So this hat, I kind of can't see your face. So keep that in mind. 400 followers, 100 following. Not bad. I help skinny guys gain 5 to 10 pounds of muscle, active duty. Okay, so this is this is like a, a business account. Remember, you can use IG for multiple things. It doesn't have to be solely just uh, attractive lifestyle sort of ig you can also use it to grow your business so for him for example he's obviously in fitness the only thing all right let's see some of these posts okay i've never seen fitness posts like this this is an interesting sort of concept a video of you working out with the the picture in picture i i i get what you're doing but um in terms of a fitness account and obviously i got i got a vast experience in, in terms of fitness content and seeing what other people do i don't think this will have a, a lot of appeal for the algorithm so you're very informational in your captions. You know, I get what you're trying to do, but instead of uh, texting, texting it or just text, showcase what these are and how to do them, right? Because this, though you're giving information, this is not gonna it's not gonna hit from a algorithm standpoint. Assuming you want to grow too, right? And if you change that up. Uh, you'll you'll get more than um 400 followers too but this is the interview okay interviews work well yeah so you could keep doing that yeah include more lifestyle man the issue with brand accounts or business accounts is that a lot of guys think that it has to be singular focused on just fitness, like just fitness content. That's it. No, you can show that you're you're informational or a, a leader 
in a subject, but also you need to showcase like more about who you are, what you do, lifestyle, show your fashion. Like, don't be afraid to do that because that's how you get people invested in you. People buy from people. So if you have a business, keep in mind the biggest um, personal brands have the biggest businesses. That's because people buy, know, like, and trust them and they buy from people. So showcase more of your lifestyle, man. That would be my critique with that. Um, outside of that, this is just me being nitpicky. The overall grid is a bit messy, scattered, not aesthetic. Like, you know, it's just not an attractive profile to look at visually. Uh, but I, I do say you, go, you give good information. You just need to optimize how you give that information. So I'm going to rate this one a 5 out of 10, room from improvement, kind of average but definitely room for improvement. Uh, okay, let's let's read some of these super chats, guys. I have not been reading the chat whatsoever. So let's read some of these super chats. Uh, I'm going to answer questions first. I'm going to answer questions first, and I'm going to get into the, the other ones. Uh, hey, Austin, I was told you're supposed to measure your waist size. If so, hold on one more. Let me stop sharing my screen. Hey, Austin, I was told you're supposed to measure your waist size. If so, what is your waist size if you know and what is recommended? Yeah, it's good to know your waist size just so you can understand what pants to buy and wear. Me personally, I'm like a 29, 30 um, around my waist, but I'll get pant size like a, a 32 just because like fluctuations and, and plus I could just wear a belt. So it's not a big deal, but yeah, measure your inseam and measure your waist size. Those two things you guys should definitely know. Uh, more questions. Hey, Austin, do you know Lucien and Rome Flynn? I think that's the best archetype for life men to get the most one of all race intensity with low black population. Uh, yes, I do know these people. In fact, I've been compared to them multiple times. So, Maybe, maybe you got something there. The the Lucian guy, he's from um that Netflix show Emily in Paris and Rome Flynn. He's this uh he's he's that Afro Latino sort of archetype. But yeah, these two people, guys, check um look at them, research. If you're like light skinned, brown skin, these are pretty good archetypes to look smacks into for sure. Uh okay. I see you guys are, are sitting in super chats of some of your IGs. Be careful because I only have an hour. So so don't if I don't get to it, then um don't be upset. But let's go ahead and do another IG critique IG review from a super chat. And we're gonna do chewy smoothie. By the way, once again, I'm a I'm gonna post a Actually, never mind. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Let's just get into it. Let's get into it. Okay. Chewy smoothie. All right. Chewy smoothie. Interesting name, first off. Interesting name. Uh, profile pick, meh, below average. But bro has a fucking godly physique. Jesus. Bro, what? Is this edited? What do you kids say? Glazing? I'm not trying to glaze too hard, but bro, if this is actually your physique, you need to leverage this way more. You literally have the capability of being a fitness influencer if you wanted to like this is the frame your, your clavicle with the v taper this is top tier bro showcase more of your physique yeah for sure showcase more physique bro this is a bad picture too by the way like i didn't even your your physique was so good i wasn't even looking at your facial expression but now that i'm holistically looking at everything your facial expression is obviously not the best. Like, bro, if you got a photo shoot done of you walking out the beach 
with a stoic facial expression, looking at the camera or even looking away, walking like that. Edit some of the colors, like the this water, the sky is a little too gray. Like add some saturation, increase the vibrance. If you don't have a girlfriend already, I'm sure it won't be long before you do. Okay. Um, not not a lot of points of leverage being presented here. The environment is cool. The dog, I guess Kimmy uses one, but besides that, is is kind of I don't know. It's kind of awkward. I, I don't get it. Me and my dog, I don't get it. Yeah, I can tell just by your name and also like kind of how you're presenting yourself. You're like more of a, a a goofy sort of guy, not a negative way, but you know, you're more of a just a goofy sort of guy. So you can still hold true to your goofiness, but if you were to just present yourself in a, a more masculine, like stoic way, leverage more physique, bro. This thirty nine would turn into thirty nine thousand, probably three hundred ninety thousand after a year or two. Like I'm, I'm literally not kidding. So many people are sitting on so much potential and they have no idea. And nobody's going to tell them. I'll tell you, though. Leverage the physique, man. Would y'all agree? All right. All right. So we're going to do uh, another super chat and then we're going to get back into the Patreon. Damn, I, I can't even... Can you copy and paste this? All right. So Andy dot D I T T A K A V I A. My bad. I, I got to keep switching tabs, guys. Do, do, do. All right. Andy, you know the homie Miguel. That's what's up. All right, let's go. Andy, profile picture, not bad. Looks good. 5,000 follower, three following, so very positive ratio. I know ratio sounds stupid, guys, but when somebody goes to your profile, that's almost like the first sign of status is like your follower to following ratio. Anytime I come across a girl who DMs me or maybe I meet on whatever dating app and I, I send her to like IG, and I see she has like 400 followers and she's following like 3,000 people. Immediately in my head, groupie. Or this is going to be easy. She has no self-respect. Self Zero. But his is pretty good. So let's get, let's get into the photos. In terms of the archetype of what this is, I'm guessing like mid-adult professional, you know, Young professional sort of vibes. All right, let's see. Okay. Porsche. You know, when it comes to slideshows, this could be genuinely your car. I'm not sure if you rented it or not. But if it is your car, then present it in a way with you also there. I, don't, don't just post a carousel of, a, of the wheel. You know, or at least put your hand in it with a nice watch. Yeah, I understand the vision for this, but it, it was a it's a low quality carousel. But I do get the vision. But if we just present it in a better quality way, it would have came off a lot better. All right, let's look at uh, this one. I'm not sure why this picture is there. This this doesn't match the vibe. Sort of everything else. Like, no, it, corn, corn and tortillas. Now, if you're gonna if you're gonna show a food pic in your carousel, guys, let it be something like high class. I'm not sure this might be expensive corn. I don't know. I don't order fancy corn, but let it be is something like you know. You want to show access to scarce resources, as Sartain says. 
and this right here is not a um a scarce resource <laughs> corn is not, corn is not a scarce resource <laughs> All right, here we go. We, we got some other lever points of leverage. That may be a Rolex. I can't tell. We got some wine. All right, bro, you're you're not a bad looking guy. You're uh, you're actually more on the attractive side. I can tell that you've put work into your looks, the the sex appeal, the jewelry, the style, the outfit. You just need a photo shoot, my man. Uh, you really just need need a photo shoot, and you look like a different person right here. Like, yeah, this is not congruent to what I just saw. Who is this man? So if there's if there's a lack of congruency between the old you versus the new you, and I can easily scroll and see that, then you need to archive the old stuff. Archive it, which means that you'll still have access to it. It's just not being shown. So you don't have to delete your memories. I gotta get all sentimental about it. Just just archive it. Because like I said, this is a totally different person from this. I'm not sure if the angle, but your jaw looks weird right here, too. It's something, you know, it might be the angle. It might be your face, so I don't know. But yeah, who is this person? This is a good look smashing transformation, though. Look at this. After, after before. Sex appeal. So good job on that. However, with your IG, I'm going to rate this one a six and a half out of 10 because I can tell you're in a position to showcase a lot of leveraging points. However, you're just kind of going about it the wrong way right now. But if you were to improve it, man, then I can definitely see it's a really dope IG profile. So what would y'all rate that one? All right. Let's let's go back to Patreon. Let's go back to Patreon. And let's go Malcolm Malcolm Grant. All right, Malcolm, profile picture bad. You need to be center, clear and focused. Uh, this is like you're framed in the rule of thirds and all the way in the left thirds too. Like I need to see who you are. So I would change that out to something more clear or at least zoom in more on yourself. Ratios are fine. Lifestyle entrepreneur setting goals in the first step. Okay. Not a bad bio. For now, I'm skipping highlights, by the way. I'm not going to, I'm not going to dive deep into highlights. But overall, the rule with highlights is that you want to make sure that you're uh, demonstrating points of leverage about yourself, whatever that may be. So in terms of the archetype of this IG profile, I'm getting a lifestyle, fashion, style, more so using style and maybe a bit of environment as your personal uh, points of leverage, which can absolutely work. But let's see how you're going about it. I'm not going to lie. I've seen this shirt three times in the past week. I think I saw a FedEx wear it. I saw another one of my homies wear it, and now I'm seeing it again. It's a dope shirt, though. I would get it. I was going to get it until I saw everybody wearing it. But, yeah. All right. But style, style's, style's not bad. You know, he's going for the, the classy gentleman sort of casual sex appeal formal sort of look a style that i'm fairly familiar with so not bad at all uh but one thing it's just the environment not ideal so with an outfit like this i probably would have found a plain background so like literally that wall behind you and just done a pose up against a wall to show like the contrast of the fit up against another contrasting background. Now let's look at some of his other posts. This this one's cool. I like the composition. I like the frame. I like the fit. The only thing is, is that 
I just don't understand the environment. It looks like you're at a putt putt golf course. So one thing, if, if you're gonna take rule of thirds pictures in a scenic sort of environment, just make sure that there's a scene and or it's a reputable, notable place. Otherwise, you just take up. You could have just uh, centered yourself and gone in a little bit closer, because right here I'm not understanding the context. But um, but yeah. This one's not. This one's not bad. Not bad. So I understand where you were going with this, and this could have been better if you would have cleaned up the table area. You know, like I, I see somebody's iPhone. I see their dating apps blurred. <laughs> but for real though, yeah, you you guys got to be more conscious about the background and the environment that you're taking pictures. Like with me. If I'm taking, if I'm framing something and I see that there's stuff around me, I will purposely move it to take the picture. So with this, I would have moved the glasses when it made it more clear. And then um, also just a, a pro tip is that be mindful of facial expressions. We want to show a relaxed yet posed face. When I say relaxed or stoic, sometimes guys will relax their face a little too much and they come off angry they come off mean that they're upset and some of this uh, you guys can't control so for him for example it, it could just be the, the way his eyes are so you got to be mindful of that all right have a little smirk don't look up so upset you know you look very angry yeah this is uh i know this is old but this is like very low status, low status. Now, if if y'all like if y'all like hood chicks, if y'all like chicks that be smoking backwoods and and uh, black and milds, then yeah, go for this. Post it. You know. So remember, you are what you attract. But I, I don't think this vibe right here fits fits this vibe or or this vibe which is a video oh transition okay so i i, I would have been a little bit more dynamic in the beginning i can't hear let me hear it so in that first part, I, instead of just standing there waiting to get to the punchline, I would have done a walk and then pl and then plant myself so that the, the beginning is a little bit more dynamic. But that's more into content creation. But as a as a holistic profile, looking with everything, you know, I'm gonna rate this one. Rate this one a six. A little above average, but not good, but also not great. Just just a, a, above average. All right. That was Patreon, right? I think that was Patreon. Yeah. All right. Let's see if we have any questions or anything. Awesome. What do you think the difference between Afro Latino and Black archetype in details and summary? Yeah, that's that's a whole YouTube video, huh? The difference between Afro Latino and Black is is mostly fe is features. So the the Latino the Latino mix into the Black causes you know lighter skin, causes a looser uh, looser curl pattern. Right, is hair and features. Hair, you know. So if you're a black archetype, you can look max or image hack into Afro Latino to make yourself more attractive. I'm not telling you to lighten your skin, but you know, you can grow out your hair, texturize your hair, loosen the curl pattern. You know, but I believe those are the biggest differences is, is simply like facial features, uh, skin and, and hair texture. Pretty much the difference between any archetype. That's that's literally the difference between white and black skin color features and hair texture. So.
but it's subtle because because black ha black in itself has a lot of archetypes, right? Like I'm African American, but sometimes you know people might think that I'm Afro Latino or have. Sometimes I get biracial too from from women. I'll ask that. You know, dark skin, light skin, brown skin, whatever. Um, so, so you guys who are super chatting your IG pro, um, tags, I'm not going to be able to go through all y'all. So stop doing it. Stop doing it. I'm not going to be able to go through all y'all. Y'all can ask questions, but I'm not going to be able to, to be on here that long to go through all these, these, uh, super chat IG profiles, unfortunately. All right. I'm going to do. I'm going to do one more from Patreon, and then I'm, I'm going to try to get through the Super Chats before 8 p.m. So we got 20 minutes. I'll, I'll try to be more short-winded. I'll try to be more short-winded. Because I'm spending like 10 minutes per po profile. So let's go through it quickly. All right, personal Daryl. 200, 116. Profile picture, uh, dark, show your face. Uh, don't show a side angle. Like clearly show your face and and who you are. If if a person who doesn't know you can't recognize you in your profile picture, it's probably a bad profile picture. All right, so let's look at his pictures. Yeah, low, very low status. Very, very average. Lighting isn't great. Framing isn't great. Fit isn't great. It's, it's kind of subpar. This one's better, though. So he's following a, a composition rule that he probably isn't even realizing that he's following. It's called lead, uh, leading lines. And basically, it's a composition composition rule to where lines lead toward the subject in the portrait. And so a staircase is an easy way to get leading lines to make it more aesthetically pleasing. That's why this picture is, is pleasing to look at because the lines are leading towards him. So the lighting isn't great though, but besides that, the posing, the composition is uh, good. This one, not so good, not so good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Turn the flash on, man. You know, if you're if you're dark skin taking night pictures, turn the flash on. It'll make it look better. Shirts wrinkled. Yeah. So at least you're trying, though. That's the thing. Like, at least he's trying. Oh, you're in Orlando too. Might run into you, man. But yeah, at least at least he's trying. I get what he's trying to do. It's just the quality, just once again, isn't isn't there fully. Or the quality is just inconsistent. Because like this image looks different than this. Like, what is this? So yeah. You're learning, you're learning more with time, but so far I might have to rate this one. Rate this one a, a five. Five, yeah. Five out of ten. Average. Room for improvement. Uh all right. Now we're gonna get into more super chats. Let me read the chat though. What y'all been? Let me see what y'all been talking about. Lighting is is a big key. Yep. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's get through more of these super chats. Did we already do Malcolm? I can't remember. Uh, I don't think so. All right, let's see. M3. Uh, 
LC VLM. Here's another pro tip, guys, too. Is that oh wait, did I? I did already do them. Okay, yeah, I did. All right. But here's a, another tip uh, to guys is that if you're trying to build a personal brand, your IG name is actually very important. You know, all with these weird and long IG names does not make it any easier for people to find you. Usually you want to go with your, with your name. So for me, for example, obviously Austin Dunham or even Austin. I try to get Austin. All right. Malung, Malunga, Malunga Changwa. Y'all got some weird names, man. Oh, oh that's actually your name. Oh, no shit. I never heard a name like that. My bad for disrespecting your name, man. All right. I see a bit of influence. I see a little bit of influence, you know. Hey, th this is what I tell y'all to, to do. You know, if you don't know what you're doing, get a little bit of influence for sure. And I see the influence. The father's sons, the jewelry, okay. Well, we got the leather, white, gold rope, the mid fade. Try and texture, texture your hair a little bit more, man. Uh, also, I'm not sure if you're using minoxidil right now, but let's try to get that patch all the way and or use a beard dye or a beard pin to, to fill this in before you go on photo shoots. Not to fill in like the, the gap, but more so this this part right here, which may already be enhanced. I really can't tell. But all right. Very bare bones IG account. 84 followers, zero following. So, so yeah. The posing is a little stiff. Posing is a little stiff, man. And that's normal for people who aren't really uh, used to taking pictures. This one's a little bit more natural. But unless you got the the cleavage, a part of cleavage gang, you know, been training the chest, upper chest, keep the buttons button. The idea that you're unbuttoning a shirt for a picture at least, or even when you're out and about, is the fact that you're presenting another point of leverage through showing your physique. But with you, it just looks smooth. So up until you either get your body fat percentage down or build some more muscle, you know, keep that, keep the button up a little bit more. Even the, even I wouldn't go that low. Max, I would go is like that button right there. Um, wrist is a little bit bare. Add a watch, a bracelet, or something. It'll, it'll look a lot better. But yeah, this is the the night flash dinner shot. Um, once again, the pose, posing a little stiff. Ha have some more walking. Do the the candid walking. Walk away. Get, get the guy to get some pictures of you walking off guard. You know, show a little bit more active movement. But yeah, I see the vision. I see where you're going. I see the idea behind of what you're trying to accomplish. You just need more volume and um, more fluidness, less stiffness. And then also, of course, you got to get those followers and, and following up. So I might have to rate this one a four out of 10, but it has potential, a lot of potential because because you understand you understand the style aspect. You understand what you're trying to do. You just need a little bit more help. A little bit more help. And um, that's the thing, guys. If you're trying to do everything yourself without external help co or coaching and, like, you're serious about it, 
then it would actually be in your best interest to invest into, I'm not even saying me, invest in something or somebody, a book or something in order to learn what you really want to learn and get better at. Anything I've ever wanted to really learn and get better at, I the only thing that I, I use, no, not even that. I was going to say that whenever I was, I was trying to learn calisthenics, that it was mostly trial and error just through learning myself. But that wasn't even the case. I bought like three books. I bought like three books about training and, and calisthenics. And that, that's a form of investment and coaching. So you guys know I have my digital Romeo mentorship where we do stuff like this. I give you action steps on what to do. However, if you're uh, if you're a young guy, if you're not in a financial position to where you want to be yet, you're, you're going to have to just learn through trial and error, which is fine because you, you got time on your hands. So all my 18, 19, 20, 21 year olds, even, you know, le leverage that time to the, the full capacity. Uh, OK. I'm surprised. I thought most Afro Latinos have deep waves in my city. Afro Latino does well with the short hair. Do you know Kelvin and Eric? I club with them in Toronto. They get a lot of play. <laughs> yes, I I know them. I'm actually supposed to be working out with Eric tomorrow. <laughs> He's in Orlando. So so yeah, those are, those are the homies. All right, let me look at some more of these uh, super chats. We have any more questions? All right, we, we still got people sending stuff in. All right, I'm running short on time, guys. So I'm going to I'm gonna have to do a, a bidding. So I'm going to have to do the highest, highest bid and critique that because I don't have that much time left, unfortunately. Oh, actually, Jamel is the highest, highest bid. All right. Let's get to Jamil. My bad. Jamil. I got a business meeting tonight. Just kidding. <laughs> the ops are watching. I'm just kidding. All right. Let's check out let's check out Jamil. All right. So profile picture, very fitness, very uh, male gaze heavy. So I'm assuming this is a fitness account just solely by looking at the profile picture, but we'll see if I'm wrong. 1,000, 50, 500, okay, Jamil. I help professionals get shredded with real world advice. Okay, so you're a fitness coach. Makes sense. Interesting. So there's a, there's a lack of congruency here a little bit before I even get into the images. Is the fact that you have a fitness profile. The I, I'm assuming you're doing, I was assuming that you're doing online training or coaching, but I don't see any links or anything. So you say you help professors get shredded with real world advice, but where's the content for that? You know, all I'm seeing right now is you posing in, a, in different environments and suits. You know, so that would be the first thing is that there's a, a lack of uh, congruency between your bio, your profile, and then also what you're posting. But let's check out what you're posting. Okay. Fashion. Fashion is not bad. I, I think that's your, your biggest point of leverage is, is the fashion and physique that you're showcasing. However, however, some pictures are good and some pictures are, are man, not that good. Like this fire outfit, posing environment fire. You're a little out of focus on some of these though. I'm not sure if that's purposeful. Giving me um, Tristan Tate. Tristan Tate IG vibes. Yeah. 
yeah once again like out of focus yeah this this might be the though there's a lack of congru congruency this might be uh the best profile so far that i've seen so far you see how like even this half is like heavily fitness and then out of nowhere it gets into like fashion so like have have a bit more balance with your content and your approach like if you're not posting fitness content to this desired audience then i will remove that and um, also re remove these pictures and just go straight go fully into like the lifestyle style sort of vibe you can still showcase fitness in different aspects like right here you're clearly showcasing uh you doing fitness but you integrated here and there so i think overall not bad i'm gonna have to rate this one i rate this one a, a seven to seven and a half out of ten all right best one i've seen so far not like super amazing but definitely a lot better this fix the things i said all right all right we got we got time for one more unfortunately guys we got time for one more uh highest bid, bid. all right we got five those are euros right <laughs> i think which one's higher five euros or, fi or five dollars which one's higher fi five euros or five dollars i don't All right, we've got quite a bit of five dollars. All right, euros is higher. All right, cool. All right, since euros is higher, we're gonna go with Greg uh, for the last one. Let's see, LA. Mida. I L L E. Uh, for real. All right. All right. Let's see. Okay. It's got a little bit of clout. Got a little bit of clout. Cool. Um, Spanish. I, I can't read any of this, but I'm assuming it's. I thought you were on a pull up bar right here. So I was thinking, I thought this was a, a fitness account. Oh, is it? Uh, I can't tell. I don't know. This is a pull up bar or a t shirt. I would change the profile picture because even if I'm confused by it, you know, I'll probably do something else. Okay, it is a pull-up bar. Yeah, I was questioning what it was or not. So if this is like a, a fitness call fitness account, then I take that back. That could be fine. However, you know, if you have another shirtless pic to where you're like clearly seen, your face is clearly seen, then I, I would probably use something like that. Uh, all right, let's look at some of his pictures. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, a real showing a muscle-up progression, or is this you working out? Okay, a progression. Cool. Cool, so creating content for a, a target audience. So that's good for biz business. Four thousand likes. That's good. Yeah, you know some people can get away with this, and maybe he's one of those guys. But it's usually standard practice to not to not post a selfie um, carousel as a man, usually. But you know, if you can get away with it, and you're gonna get a response from it then do you this is just something that i personally would not do especially if if i'm if i have a fitness account you know so all right okay so it's like a a fitness lifestyle account 
kind of balance. Um, a lot of portrait style shots, but also at the same time, he's showcasing fitness and in, in different ways, sometimes even subtle ways, subtle ways. But you definitely have an understanding of, of pictures. Like this look right here, man, this is a this is a fire look. That's a fire look right there. I can tell you experiment a lot too. But yeah, IG really isn't bad either. But this is just from a business perspective. Like if you're if you're a fitness account, oh, let me go to your reels. I might I might miss something. Yeah, I don't know. I can't. I can't understand it. But if you're a fitness account, then you maybe want to lean more into the the fitness side instead of the lifestyle side. However, when you do present yourself in a, a lifestyle fashion, at least it's it's in a pretty good way. It's not bad whatsoever. You know what I realized too, and. I don't want to be um, biased by any means because I was thinking it seems like the more attractive people have the better IG profiles. And so I was just thinking to myself just now, do they have better IG profiles because they're attractive? But then I was thinking like, no, like I objectively think the way that they're presenting themselves, the, the grit, the quality, it just overall looks better than the less attractive people I just saw too, right? So maybe there's a there's a correlation with that. The more attractive you make yourself and the more attractive you are through the effort you put in your own appearance, there's a synergetic effect of the amount of effort you put into presenting yourself in your Instagram profile too. Makes sense? So maybe that could be it. But if I had to rate uh, this profile, I'm going to rate this one uh, six and a half to seven out of 10, somewhere around there, maybe a 6.8. All right. Uh, dude. All right. Yo, appreciate you guys for hopping in. It was cool. It was fun. Let me see if we have any more questions. No questions. Oh, Nima, man. Nima. All right, Nima. Since you did almost 20 euros we're gonna we're gonna get Nima real quick we're gonna get Nima real quick wait uh, at at Nima okay where is at Nima I don't see a at Nima Why can I find your name? At N E E M A. N E E M A. Am I missing something? Oh, right here. Right there. All right, yeah, Nemo. Um, you're on the Patreon too, man. I remember seeing your profile. So Nemo himself, a very high status, a lot, a lot of leverage. This is a insane ratio. This is pushing like influencer worthy ratios, uh, check mark, uh, also a great name. Like I'm telling you, your name is so important. This is a, a high status IG name, even in itself. Whenever I, I saw that at Nemo, I was like, this is probably going to be a good account just because the name is so clear, it's short, it's distinct, and it's his name. It's like me, like I said, having at Austin. Imagine me having at Austin. I should have gotten it in 2019. He was he was going to sell it to me for like uh, 4K, 5K in 2019. But then I already bought Austin underscore Dunham. And so I, I didn't want to buy that one. I was like, I'll wait. And then I messaged him like two years later. And he was like 15K or something. I don't know. And then I waited and I messaged him again, I think last year. And then he left me on red. He's probably tired of my shit. But anyways, uh, Nima, uh, good profile picture. Style's nice. It looks like you're in a high-status environment. 
uh, every, everything about the pictures you do have is very curated. Like this is top notch, <laughs> top notch carousel, man. I'm not going to lie. That, that was very good. Dope picture, rule of thirds. Okay. A little nice with it. Yeah. Good job. The the aesthetic, the the carousel, the vibe that you're giving off is, is super dope. Yeah. Yeah, Nima. This is this is a high status <laughs> IG account, guys. This is what a high status IG profile looks like. Now, in order to reach Nima's level, there's clearly a barrier of, of entry. And that barrier of entry is money. Like through this alone, I can already tell Nima is not a broke boy. Not only through his $20 donation and how he's on my highest tier on the Patreon, but also just the account. All right, this this is textbook high status. Textbook. The Sioux in Paris. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, Nima. Hey man, let's connect, bro. <laughs> <laughs> let's connect, bro. Hell yeah. This, this is uh, this is great. Um, I, I literally have nothing bad to say. This is this is actually the highest rating out of out of the whole night. And I'm, I'm glad we saved it for last. This is a 10, 10, 10 out of 10. Great job. Presentation, high points of leverage, clearly high status, very curated. Each carousel told a story. And that's a big thing I forgot to mention too, is that you want your pictures and carousels and posts to like tell a story of some sort. And he did that perfectly. Uh, he has a, a vibe and aesthetic, the editing, this vintage grainy edit, like on point. There's nothing bad I could really say about this. So great job, Nima, 10 out of 10. That is the best one I've seen all night. Best one I've seen all night. All right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Nima just wanted to flex. But hey, Nima, good job. You're making everybody look like broke boys. Broke boys around here. But once again, I appreciate you guys for hopping on today. Uh, I'm going to be in Miami all next week. So might do some collabs. Y'all stay tuned for that content. I'm doing a lot of stuff. And we'll be back here soon, all right? Peace. Y'all have a good one.